it's me moody boo the fragrant nomad and today i'm doing a review of some oils that were sent to me from luxador they're a perfume oil company over in the uae in uh, united arab emirates and they contacted me and wanted to see if if i wanted to try some of their oils so they sent me this kit with 10 oils in it and I'm going to talk about them all bit. So this is the bag that it came in. So you can see it says niche perfumes on there, but I think they only sell oils. And then this box was inside that with this little wheel. I don't know if you can see in there. Um, it has a, a bunch of slots to hold these oils. And their oils, I think they have a few originals but are mostly their interpretation of other very popular fragrances. So that's what they sent me. They chose 10 and sent it to me, but in the sampler pack that you can get for $90 um, from them, from Lexador, you can choose your own 10. So that's really cool because they have a huge inventory of different fragrances that come in these little, I think they call them 10 gram or I don't remember what they call them, but they're about 10 ml size, seven and a half ml size, but they're oils and they're roll-ons. And I don't usually like oils or roll-ons. Difference is, you know, I evolve, I change, and I'm kind of getting into oils now. I'm kind of digging them. I've just been getting into them the last few months. And so it was very serendipitous that Luxador got a hold of me. The ones that they chose for me um, to check out was Ombre New, um, and that's by Dior, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Fleur Narcotique. Oh my gosh, we're going to talk about this one. And Fleur Narcotique, I think, is Ex Nihilo. Is that right? And then they sent, um, oh, Ombre Nomad. It's another one that I love. Um, I'm just telling you right now the ones that I'm loving. And then Aventus by Creed, of course. And um, Tobacco Bene, Tom Ford. And then Baccarat Rouge, 540. Mason Francis Curjon, Black Afghano. Um, and Black Afghano is, uh, is, uh, is, uh, is, uh, is, uh, um, I'll put it up there, you know, somewhere up there. And then, fucking fabulous, another Tom Ford, which I own a full bottle of. Miss Dior Cherie, obviously Dior. And the last one is <laughs> Chanel number five. So, okay. So I'm not gonna talk about the individual fragrances because here's the dealio. They smell really close to the originals as I recollect them. I do have fucking fabulous Tobacco Vini by Tom Ford. I've got Back Rouge 540 by Mason Francis Curjon. Um, I've smelled Chanel number no. five all of my life. Misty or Cherie, I've smelled a lot on people, but I've never owned a bottle or tried to own a bottle. Black Afghana was big in the day. Um, when I was reviewing perfumes pretty hard back 10 years ago or something. So I recollect that one pretty well as well. And then the Fleur Narcotique. Now I went through a whole sample pack uh, discovery set from Ex Nihilo. And I don't remember loving Fleur Narcotique. It was in there, but I don't remember loving it. But let me tell you something. I love this one. I'm probably going to get a full bottle, but then I hesitate because like I said, I had the sample pack. I don't remember loving it from the perfume. I love it in this oil though, hard. I've been wearing it tons. It's so beautiful. Ombre New, I have a decant of, and so I'm very familiar with it. I've worn it for years. Aventus, everybody knows Aventus. And then the Ombre Nomad, I had never smelled that one before, um, this oil. That's one of the few that I was totally unfamiliar with. 
at the start of this whole experience with these oils and I'm in love. That shit's expensive. But again, what if the original perfume doesn't smell as good as these oils and these oils are so affordable? I mean, it's under $20 if you wanna buy these separately, but it's like $12, I think, for one of these and they have this huge repertoire, like I said, on Luxador's website, all of these different fragrances. Most of them are their interpretation of, you fill in the blank, um, and then you can search for it. Or they do have a few oud ones that seem to be kind of their own creations. Now, don't quote me on that. I'm not absolute. $90 for 10 of these. And even though it's coming from the UAE, here's what's crazy. They got a hold of me. I said, sure. I checked out their website, made sure they were legit, and then I gave them my address. And they, it was here in a week, one week to the day of when they contacted me, it was here. Crazy, really super fast shipping. And I didn't have to sign for it. Bonus, <laughs> love that. And they were so nice when they contacted me, just so very nice. And so I just, I'm really kind of floored by this. And I wanna talk about the performance. Like I said, I'm not gonna talk about individual perfumes, but I will say, some of the ones that I'm really familiar with, like Tobacco Vini, I kind of did a side-by-side. -side. I like the oil better. Now, you've heard me talk about Tobacco Vini. Um, I got tired of it. You know, it's like Ani by Nishine. It's a bit too sweet, too chewy, too palpable when you wear it. It's so thick. And so, um, this is much lighter this oil and it seems like it has a little more cinnamon or something in there so i love it because sweet cinnamon tobacco hello that is like my the scent of my nirvana when i finally find the damn place oh my god i love that combination so i actually like this tobacco vinny oil better and i'm not saying this because they sent me 90 dollars worth of oils for free I'm not that superficial. I told them I'm going to be honest, and I will tell you the Chanel number no. five is crap. Not the oil, but I hate the perfume. Everybody knows that. I've always hated the perfume. The only time I've ever liked it, it was when it was on my mother's sweater when she used to wear it, and she'd smoke a cigarette and she'd have some of this this uh, old Wrigley's spearmint gum, a little hint of that off of her breath. And that combination and those memories made me love Chanel Number no. 5. If my mother isn't wearing it, I can't stand it. Can't stand it. It's aldehyde, soapy, blah, 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 blah. But that isn't their oil. That's Chanel Number no. 5. <laughs> That's all I'm saying is that their oil is a good representation because as soon as I smelled it, I was like, yep, that smells about right. This is going to my mother because <laughs> I ain't having it. So it, their interpretation is very close without being exactly the same. So I know there's some other houses out there like that, like Dua and, oh, I lost some of the other ones. Anyway, and they do a really good job. Um, this is just another option and these are oils and what I have found is that my husband has less allergies with uh, fragrances when I wear an oil as opposed to a spray-on perfume um, a lot of the newer ones you know are oil based so um, he doesn't have a lot of problems with that but every once in a while natural perfume will give him some trouble so um, I appreciate oils more and more kicker one of the reasons why I have not been into oils for many, 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 many years. Last time I was really into oils was when I used to wear Cody's um, Wild Musk religiously. I still love that stuff. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Um, every oil pretty much, not all of them, but enough of them to make that not too much of an exaggeration when I say every oil. They just don't perform like a eau de parfum to me, on me, for me. They're lighter, they're, there's no sillage. 
and and they tend to their their projection tends to come really close to the body very fast for me they don't last very long usually four hours I'm super happy if I get four hours out of a, an oil I'm super happy if it if it projects to my elbows for any length of time uh yeah all bets are off with these these project and they last they don't stain there's no weird color on my skin you know it looks like a really nice clean oil the smell is beautiful um, on you know the sense that I like but the projection is crazy I swear I you know I just put them on my hands a lot of times just on top of my hands when I've been testing them except for Fleur Narcotique and uh, Ombre Nomad um, and actually Tobacco Vini in these oils I've been wearing those kind of all over the place but mostly on my hand and so that's you know that's a good two feet from my nose and I could smell it um, now I didn't test the Chanel number no. fives I did test Aventus I didn't do the Miss Dior um, I think that's it I think those were the only two that I didn't test on my skin at all because I'm just not a fan not a fan so there was no point in testing them out because they to me when I took off the cap smelled just like the real thing close enough I didn't want to wear them so anyway the rest of them I did test some a lot and Fleur Narcotique and Ombre Nomad the two that I'm crazy about that I do not have full bottles of easily made it to my nose for hours I swear uh, these oils lasted every bit of mm, and they all lasted about the same they didn't all project exactly the same but they all lasted about the same and I'd say six to eight hours pretty easily some of them closer to eight some of them closer to six and all of them projected very well another reason I didn't want to test out the Chanel number no. five <laughs> but really really good concentrations in these my skin had no reaction to the oils it was and I have really crazy sensitive skin so I I you know was worried because I don't know this company and, and oils are more intimate to me than a spray on is there's no logic to that whatsoever that's just in my own head I feel like oils they just they're a little more invasive maybe is a better word than spray-ons so I'm hesitant to just wear them from you know anybody I don't know but I took a chance with these and I'm so glad I did because this company is a maze bomb how they can make these oils for $12 a pop and you can get them in much larger sizes too which makes it kind of fun because you can become your own alchemist just by ordering from Luxador I mean why not try mixing and matching some of these fragrances to come up with something new I if these weren't roll-ons I would absolutely try that but I want I mean and you can buy them in like 200 mls and and things like that so you can do a lot with that you know a little alchemy goes a long ways with 200 mls of oil so love 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 these five and even Aventus which is like I'm so bored of I actually really enjoyed it in this oil I was very surprised it's, I felt like the pineapple was a little more that note was a little more pronounced at the beginning with this oil than it was in the uh, Creed's Eau de Parfum so that really surprised me but I'm gonna give my husband the Adventus oil and a couple of these other ones the black Afghano um, there's another one I'm gonna give him remember, but I'm gonna give him a few of these I'm gonna give my mom at least the Chanel number no. five and uh, yeah I'm keeping these five though love oh, that Fleur narcotic is so beautiful so I don't think just during this video I think I'm not going to buy the full bottles from the original people because I, I, I'm just not sure I'd like it as much and they're super spendy because I do these oils and I've got these oils so why would I need to I don't even know if the ombre nomad um, smells like close to the original because I've never smelled that I'm just saying I fell in love with it in this 
so it makes me curious if I'd love it in the Eau de Parfum too, but I don't know. I don't think I'm going to buy that one either. I'm just going to stick with these oils. Anyway, I'm going to put the link below, Luxador. Thank you so much for sending me these. I think I have fully fallen down Alice's perfume oil rabbit hole because now I want to explore a lot more. <laughs> so, all right. Well, I guess that's about it. Thank you again for sending these to me. Um, but I, you know what, guys? I'm not going to BS you. I always tell when people send me stuff for free that I'm not going to be dishonest. I'm going to tell my, speak my truth. And, um, you know, if, if that doesn't work for you, then don't send me anything. And they always send me stuff. So I'm going to assume it's okay when I say I can't stand the Chanel number no. five. But again, I think their interpretation is really close to it. I just, I can't, I can't, I can't. So, all right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. And don't forget to like and subscribe and ring the bell and comment if you want. If you don't, it's all good. I still love you. And use your own nose. Bye!